Ha. Ha. Okay. Yeah, it's time to take Bill out and get a little exercise. We'll hitch him onto the stone boat. See? Hey, bye. Bye. Hey. Hey. to stop fast when you're going that fast. I can't stop. important to when doing this and I would highly suggest that you don't do it actually and right now there's actually too much snow because we got a little bit of a dusting overnight but um, 
if it's bare ground, maybe wet, it works pretty good. But even this little bit of snow is almost so much. You saw how I, when I stopped, I slid into them a little bit. So, um, anyways, a lot of people will say how stupid I am to be doing this, and I suppose there's a lot of truth to that. Caps up. I sure don't want to do this unless you are quite, unless you have quite good control of your horse. But I must say it's quite fun. Walk, walk, walk. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Apple step. Walk. Oh. Careful. So I'm tearing this sled apart. This is the sled I showed you the other day. And uh, this is the reason I'm actually getting this sled set up. 
as you saw with me and Ken, I mean me and Bill going through the field with the stone boat, it's just not very safe at this time of year with snow on the ground with a stone boat. It's actually a very dangerous thing to be doing because when you stop, the stone boat can slide right into the horse. And so that's why you need a set of shafts or some way to stop whatever is behind you. So that's why I'm tearing this apart and I'm gonna put a set of shafts on here. So this will be what I'll be using in the winter time to run around the field to give Bill exercise and or other horses because I've got a single sleigh that we do use for sleigh rides sometimes. So it's good to have um, Lady and can work really good in that. So it's good to have them exercised and used to the, the shafts more often. So I will be hitching all three of them up quite a bit to this sled. So that's it for me. I think Brenda had something to talk about also. So this sled reminded me of uh, a sled we used to have. It's not this one, but it was the same idea because Jim just took the sides off of this, had little sidewalls on it. And um, he's really dismantling everything. But when the kids were younger, we had a sled that had sides on it and it had was all enclosed because Jim gets very cold in the winter with sleigh rides and he wanted to see if he could have a little sled that had a wood stove in it. So we want to show you some pictures of the sled that we had from years ago and share with you about it. It's, it was kind of my thinking a lot of the school buses of many years ago, you see pictures of them probably with someone taking the kids to school and they actually have a stove in them. And that's what I wanted to try. Really? I never heard of that. I don't remember hearing of that in your days gone by. A school bus with oh, yeah. a stove in it? Oh yeah. It, I've seen a lot of pictures like that. Um, the reason I stopped using this particular sleigh is uh, because it had a stove in it, it had one entry door and I just felt it's just way too dangerous. If something was ever to happen, you're kind of stuck in there with that wood stove. And so we didn't use it that long. But we do have some good memories and we want to share those with you. So here's a picture of a horse-drawn school bus. When Jim said school bus, I was thinking of a automobile bus. And here's a picture of the little rig that Jim made. I wish we had more close-up shots of the entire thing. But this is Mac and Rocky, and they were pretty young at, this, at the time. And as you can see, the entire sleigh was enclosed on the top with plastic to try to keep the heat in. Here's a picture of Jim. I think he's roasting a hot dog on the little stove that he had made especially for this little sled. He had a neighbor friend who did a lot of um, creating and of things and he told him what he wanted and he had this little stove made. Firebox was very small so it had to be filled quite often but it did a pretty good job of heating the little sled up. And here's a picture of uh, me and the three kids. You can see the plastic in the background. We enjoyed some hot dog roast. There's Trudy and um, there's Levi and some other cousins that came one time and we used to just enjoy uh, spending some time together and drinking some hot chocolate on our little sleigh ride trips. So we hope you enjoyed going down memory lane with us. We want to show you when this is back to where he wants it into working condition we'll give you some more um, views of this. Thank you for coming along with us today. We hope you enjoyed the video and if you haven't, subscribe to our channel because we have a lot of viewers that watch the channel but haven't subscribed. If you would consider subscribing, just click the subscribe button and um, then you'll be notified. We've been putting a lot of videos on in th this month and we plan to continue and then you'll be notified every time that we do. And if you tap the little bell that's next to the subscribe button, you'll be notified. And if you like the video, please click the like button. And for you, uh, for those of you who are Patreons, we wanted to let you know that we are going to have a Zoom meeting on um, sat this Saturday, December 11th at 2 o'clock. Uh, 
and um, I think Abby and Trudy have put the information for you on that on your Patreon account. But if you're not a Patreon and you're interested in becoming one, we have special kind of meet and greets and different things going on with that. Um, the information about that is in the link below this video. Thanks for coming along. You have a great day, everybody. We hope to see you soon. It's floors. Punky? Oh, solid screen. What, what kind of wood do you think you used? I don't know. It's all hard. Nice. It's so, this is such a cute little thing. I just want to make a good headboard. And I'll probably basically do the same thing, but I probably, maybe I should have even kept that up there. But get a good headboard here with some good cross braces backwards. And then I got to flip it over and put new runners on it. And uh, yeah, it'll be done. It's so cute. It looks Christmassy. Mm -hmm.